it's not a joke. That he's nothing about Kim Jong Un is funny. His haircut is not funny. How fat it is is irrelevant question. The real threat now is we need to understand, guys. North Korea is coming for us in America. It is coming for the free world. We are internally so divided in America right now. People just, you know, obsessed with their gender pronouns. Why we are so divided and lost so perspective? How tough the real world is. How their enemies actually exist. That why Americans are talking about veganism and all these first world problems. There is a nation dedicated to everything they have to to destroy this country, and we still do not realize how serious this threat really is. We need to wake up, and we need to come up with a better foreign policy so we stop getting bullied by these dictators and show that democracy is strong, that people living in freedom, that we have principles. That we have courage to stand up for for what is really right. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy Park, and I'm a North Korean defector human rights activist. Today, in this video, we are going to finally talk about how serious North Korea threat is to the rest of the world, and also. What is the really the end goal for this rogue nation? What does Kim Jong Un really want eventually? This month, in January, over the last few weeks, North Korea literally, guys, tested seven missile tests, seven, in one month in January under Biden's <sighs> presidency, and one of the latest, uh, the seventh missile test, is especially concerning. This missile it went into the sky 112 miles, as high as five times higher than international space stations. This missile test that they just conducted it can even carry the nuclear warheads. This missile again can reach the U.S. Guam and also U.S. military bases around the world. So what's going on? Why North Korea is being so aggressive when it comes to missile test? And also, what are we doing about it? What does this even mean? For the last month, North Korea realized that U.S. is very currently busy with Ukraine and Russia and Taiwan. So much going on, and they were doing this test, and a lot of experts saying, "Oh, they just North Korea trying to get attention," and they are completely wrong. I was in North Korea, living there. North Korea's、uh, missile test is never about getting attention from the U.S. They are doing it because their end goal of these nuclear weapons is annihilation of free world and democracy. They want to kill democracy, so the totalitarian rule becomes a new norm. And people really don't understand what ambition the North Korean regime has. This nation is dedicated to starve its own people. So they can develop nukes with everything they have, so they can destroy America. And Americans are sitting here, really having no clue. Oh, that Kim Jong Un is a joke. How can it be that serious threat to our democracy? And look at guys, now North Korea have a capability of reaching America's mainland. And why America's foreign policy is so screwed, and why America is losing its strength every single day that it passes. The country like North Korea getting their strength and looking for a moment to attack America and kill this democracy, and this is where we really need to understand North Korea as what it is. It's not a joke. That he's nothing about Kim Jong Un is funny. His haircut is not funny. How fat it is is irrelevant question. The real threat now is we need to understand, guys. North Korea is coming for us in America. Is coming for the free world. This is a test so serious. For the first time, Japan and China both condemned North Korea. But do you know what China? Why can it not do that? Because China is like, in a way, North Korea's threat is they are not delighted by that. Like right next door, this rogue nation has this capability that can destroy America. China still condemns it, but the thing is. For them, it's better off for the U.S. base to come right next to them, and North Korea falls into South Korea and become democracy. 
So even though it's not the best scenario for them to having this very crazy strong dictator, but they would prefer this. Then at this point, this should be really scaring to all of us. Even China cannot stop North Korea. There is no country in this world right now can control North Korea. So what are we doing here? It is a sh shameful that under Biden right now current government, the foreign nations do not have any respect for America. I mean, frankly, right? Look at Afghanistan. Even Taliban has no respect for the for the U.S. And North Korea treats America like a joke. Biden calls North Korea and he's begging to hear from North Korean dictator. And he was making fun of Trump that made Kim Jong-un. And he cannot even hear back from North Korea. Literally, North Korea is playing with the U.S. And the U.S. does not know what to do. It's, it's I became American. It's just so heartbreaking. My new nation is like bow tying around North Korea. And they don't know how to handle this crazy dictator. And in a way, Kim Jong-un is not really crazy. Because if he's crazy, he will not be this rational. The regime's goal has been always this. They think that North America is a sworn enemy because this is really the land of the free and home of the brave. This country stands for individual liberty. It's a beacon of humanity's hope. Because of that, North Korea targets America. They understand if they attack America and get rid of America, that freedom is going to disappear in the face of humanity. And then, Dictators like Xi Jinping in North Korea, they can rule the world and without threatening from this movement called the democracy. This seventh missile test is not about like getting attention or getting rid of sanctions, none of that. This is a complete sign that we need to awake to the North Korean threat that they are actually preparing war against America. Which means the free world, right? Because that's America symbolized the free world and if America falls, that's it. Like, can you imagine the world without America, guys? Like, as a North Korean, like, coming from there and looking up to this country as a beacon of light, that world without America is going to be very bleak and dark. And because of that, they know America is the only thing that they need to overcome. And that's why they're so focusing on attacking America. And it is not enough at this point, like as Americans sitting here, just like making fun of Kim Jong-un's haircut and thinking that North Korea, all they want is some attention and that's why they are conducting these missiles. They are currently developing that nukes that can evade the um, deterrent method that America uses. And that's the thing, like we are internally so divided in America right now. People just, you know, obsess with their gender pronouns. Why we are so divided and lost so perspective? How tough the real world is, and how their enemies actually exist. That why Americans are talking about the veganism and all these first world problems. There is a nation dedicated to everything they have to to destroy this country, and we still do not realize how serious this threat really is. So I really hope that. You guys watch this video and share this and tell your friends that in America, it's time for us to get ready to battle with North Korea before it is too late. I always like sometimes imagine, right? Imagine when there is a war going on in China between Chiang Kai-shek and Mao Zedong. And if we helped the Chiang Kai-shek to help China to become demo democracy, what a much better place that we might be living in right now if a country had that democracy and letting the humans flush their potential that's a win for the humanity because when people are living in the under authoritarian governments that human potential get diminished and that's a loss for entire all of us we want people to fulfill their potential and i think it's like that we are really on that verge right now in north korea it's too too big to fail. If North Korea reached that capability, then that's it. We need to listen to North Korea. Whatever they say, we need to listen to them. And that time, not much left. So I think it's gonna be that time. We are understanding it's another cold war. There's ideological war is going on behind. The communism and socialism, this angry BS is still spreading in America. People really not understanding how evil this ideology is. 
and North Korea is like feasting on our nonsense social justice fights that we have in this country. Because like Americans have so lost their perspective that they just don't do not understand what this threat means. And when we are being so being aware, staying woke. The countries like North Korea and China prepare to get rid of us here. So, as threatening as alarming this is, I hope that we do not lose hope. And now it's not too late. We can do this battle. We need to wake up, and we need to come up with a better foreign policy. So we stop getting bullied by these dictators, and show that democracy is strong. That people living in freedom, that we have principles. That we have courage to stand up for for what is really right. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please hit that like button so YouTube can share this video to more people in the world. And please join my Patreon so I can create more content like this. Love you guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.